Hello, and welcome to episode five of Post Walk Weekly. Amazing how the time is flying. In fact, I had no idea it was Thursday. I was doing something else today and was like, oh my gosh, another week has gone by. You can hear the cicadas, they say here in Greece, behind me in the olive trees. You can see an awesome olive tree behind me. I had prepared some things to say and wasn't thrilled about them. And I had taken this book, The Tao of Pooh, along with me today. I have no idea why. The universe just said, put it in your bag. And as I was walking home, and I realized it's 8 o'clock, so it's going to get too dark to do this soon, I sat down with this astounding backdrop. Uh, it's probably a couple thousand year old tree, producing olives, feeding people, giving shade, giving wood. And I pulled out this book that for some reason I put in my bag. And today's, th this two days ago was an astounding January 6th committee hearing in America about um, what happened with the previous president and how democracy in the United States of America, which prides itself as being the democracy of the entire world, how it really came so close to perishing. And I was going to talk a little bit about that. Oh, I wanted to say today is day 127 of Putin's war he, he, from the beginning of his attack on Ukraine. And um, I had many other notes. But when I opened this, I thought it might, might just be the answer. Uh, it's uh, Benjamin Hoff uh, took many of the poignant parts of A.A. Uh, a. Milne's Pooh stories, and then he talks about them. So remember when Kanga and Rue came to the forest? Immediately, Rabbit decided that he didn't like them because they were different. Then he began thinking of a way to make them leave. Fortunately for everyone, the plan failed, as clever plans do sooner or later. Cleverness, after all, has its limitations. They're funny, funny words taking the poo stories so seriously and yet I think better than most of what the pundits are saying and uh, big news this week very big news and Sweden and Finland in NATO although that's only um, escalating the uh, military industrial complex in a way. However, they are countries that have negotiated and sued for peace. And I, I guess I don't have anything really serious to say. I am writing a book. I now have enough parts of it together that I think I can say sometime soon there will be a book about my journey across Poland and maybe it can um, uh, come out and ca carry on and influence more people or 
activate. I don't really want to influence. I just want to activate people. So the cicadas and I say thank you for paying attention. I've been Ama. Thank you. Hello, and I apologize for this postscript. I, after I finished recording the other video, I turned on a podcast again with American News, and at the very end of the hour, uh, 11th hour, the very end of yesterday, it was mentioned that 53 migrants coming to America hoping to make some money, to work hard and make money that they could use to elevate the, the living of their families, their mothers, their children. Um, were a truck with more than 53, I think something like 70 people, 53 of them died. And this was at the end of the 11th hour on yesterday's news. And I went on the internet and researched newspapers and found out that it happened a couple days ago. And NPR, National Public Radio, had a big article about it. And after the very first paragraph, they interview someone who says, I'm surprised this doesn't happen more often. And when I skip through that paragraph, I get to another paragraph, and they interview another person who says, this is just part of the peril. Sometimes Putin doesn't seem as evil as he does on other days. Good night.